Hello, this is Jason Taggart with JDS Industries. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to photograph your glass, crystal, and acrylic products using a simple, inexpensive light tent that utilizes a continuous lighting setup. The DIY light tent I will be using is made from inexpensive PVC pipe with an easy to set up design that can be modified to fit your specific needs. A link to the plans will be available in the description for this video. We recommend using 5000K or daylight bulbs. The 5000K bulbs will help keep the colors of the product as close to correct as possible without additional editing. Use LED bulbs. The LED bulbs stay relatively cool, which keeps the fire risk to a minimum and keeps you cool while shooting your product images. For our setup, we used 100 watt equivalent LEDs. A tripod or other similar equipment is a must have to help minimize camera shake. We also recommend the use of a remote trigger or using the self-timer function of your camera to help limit camera movement, both the angle of the product and of the lighting. They are important to both help show the facets of your glass and acrylic items, as well as to minimize any reflection issues. Use a black reflector to eliminate reflections. A white reflector will often intensify the issues. ISO this is the setting that controls your camera sensor's sensitivity to light. We recommend setting the ISO as low as you can. This helps avoid digital noise or grain and keeps your image as clean and crisp as possible. Aperture. The aperture is a mechanism within the camera's lens that controls the amount of light that reaches the sensor. It also determines how much of the image is in focus. We recommend setting the aperture to 18 or above and would recommend going as high as your lens and camera will allow. This allows for the highest amount of focus depth, which is ideal for product photography. Shutter speed. This setting is a measurement of the amount of time the shutter will open to expose the sensor to the available light. Most cameras have a metering system built into them that will tell you how long you need to expose your image. Do some additional research on your camera to help understand these settings and how to change them on your particular make and model of camera. If you will be using a cell phone camera, research manual camera apps. A manual camera app will allow you to control your camera's settings to shoot the best image for your needs in your specific situation. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has helped you with your glass and crystal product photography. Stay tuned for more JDS tutorials on product photography.